Hello, my name is Abdulmati Asiri and I'd like to welcome you to another point seven three seven video. A while back, I posted the video with a question asking about the control column movement when you set the takeoff flaps. Anytime you set the takeoff flaps, the control column will move forward slightly by about one centimeter or so. And you can check that yourself next time you fly. When you set the takeoff flaps, put your hand slightly on the control column and you'll feel the movement. So I finally got an answer to my question. The movement is called neutral shift and it is done by the flight control computer. So the flight control computer will adjust the neutral position of the control column. When you have at least one engine running, the flaps is out of the up position, and it's related to the flap position and the step trim position as well. And the opposite is true. So when you extract the flaps back to up, the control column will move uh, backward. And actually, I checked that in the airplane. I got the answer from Captain Chris Brady. And if you don't know Captain Chris Brady, he is the author of the Boeing 737 Technica Guide. He has a technical website about the airplane, and now he has a YouTube channel in which he covers the airplane systems with a level of detail that I haven't seen anywhere else. So in the description below, you'll find a link to the video talking about the neutral shift and the pitch control in the airplane. You'll have a link to Captain Chris' YouTube channel and his website as well. I strongly recommend that you watch uh, Captain Chris' videos and I believe it will take your technical understanding of the airplane to a new level. I know that's what happened for me personally. After uh, watching some of Captain Chris' videos, I got a better understanding of the airplane systems and I got some answers to questions that I had for a long time. One of, the, one of those questions that I had was about the, uh, the type of brakes that we have. So as you know, in the Boeing 737, we either have carbon brakes or steel brakes. Why is it important to identify which brakes you have? Because in the performance in-flight section in the FCA, you have two tables for brake cooling schedule, one for carbon brakes and one for steel brakes. And even if you have only one type of brakes, Boeing will list the two tables in the FCOM. And for a long time, I did not know how to find the answer. So I used to ask either my fleet captain or uh, maintenance staff, what brakes do we have in the airplane? And then I make a mental note and that's it. Now, after watching uh, one of the videos of Captain Chris uh, talking about the brakes, I was surprised actually to, to find that the answer is there in the FCOM performance in flight section itself. The first page there, you will have a list of the varieties of the 737 you have in your fleet. For example, if you have like 700, 800, 900, each one is going to be listed by itself. Or let's say you have 800 with different engine ratings, then you'll have each one listed by itself. So if you don't, have, if you have any varieties, then each one is going to be on an entry by itself because the performance is going to be uh, different. I turned out that one of the letters in these entries is indicating the type of brakes you have in the airplane. So now, not only I'm able to identify the type of brakes, but I know where is it located. As far as appreciating the design of the airplane, uh, in the pitch control video, he talks about the balance weights located in the horizontal stabilizer, which they help with the movement of the elevators. And actually have a picture there. Uh, for the horizontal stabilizer with the panels removed and you can see partially the, uh, the, uh, the balance weight. Even the movement of the trim tabs. So there you have horizontal stabilizer, then you have the elevators and then trim tabs. And if you ask any pilot in the Boeing 737, most probably they will say the movement of the trim tabs with respect to the elevators, it moves in the opposite direction. I know that was my answer for many years. Now my answer changed after watching the, that video because it turned out that it depends. It depends on the uh, series of the airplane that you are flying. It depends on the flap, whether it is in the up position or not. And it depends on whether you have hydraulic or manual reversion. And actually one of the pictures showing the, uh, the trim tabs going in opposite direction where Captain Cross had his uh, first officer uh, pulling on the uh, control column all the way to the back and then isolating uh, hydraulic to one side and then you'll see one trim tab is going opposite direction to the elevator and the other trim tab is going with the same direction. So interesting information 
Again, as I said, it, it gives you a new appreciation for the design of the airplane. Understanding the system, as you know, in the wheel well, you have so many components. Uh, but uh, as, as for us, when we do the walk around, there are uh, specific things that we, we check. But just to be able to identify, okay, so there is the cable connected to the ailerons. There is the uh, loop for the, uh, the fire loop detector in the wheel well and the connection going to the hydraulic reservoir and so on. So that day I felt that I was doing or looking in the wheel well with a new pair of eyes, with a new perspective, with a new understanding. And that's just because I watched just a few of his uh, videos. So I strongly recommend that you check Captain Chris' YouTube channel. Make sure to watch all of his videos. As I said, I'm sure it's going to take your technical understanding of the airplane to a new level. Uh, with that said, I hope that this video would be of some benefit to you as always. If you have any questions, comment or concerns, please let me know. And until next time, this is Abdul Matai Wish you a safe flying and smooth landing. Thank you for watching.